Hi, this is Chong Kim, and welcome to Vim Tips. We're going to install Vim Airline. And what that allows us to do is take the status line that looks like this and turn it into something that looks like this. So much nicer. So we start by doing the usual. And now let's take a look. We see that it almost looks like that, but not quite. And the reason is because you need to install some special fonts. So if you take a look at the, the later section, there's a section on how to install the fonts. So it says you can go and fetch the pre-patched pre fonts from Powerline fonts. So when we go there, we see that there's a bunch of fonts that have been um, pre-patched. We're going to use Meslo. So let's clone this. Okay, so now our Powerline fonts have been cloned. We'll go into the directory. And we see that the one we want is in Meslo. And we just open the file, Meslo star. So it opens up these, the font book for these fonts, but because they're not installed, you won't be able to see what they look like. So all you have to do is click on the install fonts. Let me move this over and just install each of these fonts. Okay, so I clicked on them and now they're installed. So let's read the rest of the instructions. Okay, going back to the Vim airline, it says that I'm supposed to set a variable. So we take this and we go into our vimrc file and enter that in somewhere. Actually, let me just put that near my other lets. Okay. So I'm going to exit and uh, let's take a look. Okay. Not quite. Oh, the, the other thing is that I need to change the font here. So that should now be, uh, should really have opened it this way. Okay, so the font would be let's take this one. The S in this case means the represents the gap between the uh, the vertical gap between the characters. So S is small, medium, and large. So I don't like a lot of gaps, so I'll use that. Okay, and the other thing is we need to put backslash backslashes on each of these spaces and now we should be ready okay we can take a look so now we have those special characters it's great so what about vi in terminal so we see that it's it's not set so we have to do the same thing for the terminal we have to go into profiles see I believe it's text and you change the font and we should be able to see Menlo uh, Meslo okay so th there there it is and we'll choose the same one we'll the 
the DZ means dotted zero. So the difference between this one and this one is that um, DZ has a zero with a dot, whereas uh, this one has a, a zero with a slash. Okay, so we choose that one. Actually, we need to change it over here. Um, but it's, the, it's good to have both of these consistent because it's, an, it's the special characters that were patched with the non-ASCII fonts. So let's go look for it. That's the one. Okay, so let's see if it shows up. Ah, great. Um, and now we have a, a much nicer looking status line.